you're about to go into the heart of Africa, to a wild corner of the Kruger National Park, Singita Lobombo, on a real life, real time African safari. Watch as the daily dramas unfold. From the smallest detail to the giants of the bush through the eyes of our cameramen, rangers, and animal experts. Uncut, unplanned, unexpected. Join John Varty, big cat specialist and master guide. African explorer, Andy Kutsia. And myself, Michaela Strachan. This is the real wild world, caught on safari, live. Last night we set up this dung pile here and to see what we could try and attract and it looks like we've got a huge market here. Marcus, tell me about these dung beetles. I can see they, they're rolling balls now. I mean, what's happening with these things? Well, you know, what's interesting here is that this is a resource and it's a very valuable resource, yes. which see, you know, might seem odd to you and I that this is an animal's waste. But in fact, it's full of nitrogen. And so these guys have basically seen a, a, a loophole in the market, a gap in the market, and they've gone for it. And uh, they live on dung. Now, I can see these, these guys can really roll this ball fast. I mean, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to draw a circle here. I want to have, this is going to be like the ultimate survivor. <laughs> I'm going to draw a circle around here and we'll put, you can choose a competitor and I'll choose a competitor and we'll see who's going to win. Okay. All right. I'm going to choose that guy there. Let's start him in the center. Yeah, uh, you would, wouldn't you? <laughs> Let's okay. start in the center. Okay. I'm ready to go. Are you ready to go? Okay. Ready go. to the, okay. So what we're tell watching here. here is really what they're doing is they're taking a slice of the cake away. Yeah. And there, there's a beautiful behavior on the, on the camera there now. See, he's, he's looking around and he's reorientating itself. Oh, no. Mine went the wrong yeah, way. Yeah, well, see, you, you know, you picked the wrong guy. You've got to, <laughs> it's a bit confused. <laughs> so what you've got to imagine is that dung pile as a, as a food resource. And imagine it was a cake. Yes. And, and you and I had to live on that cake for a week. Now, you're a nice guy. You'd sit there and you'd eat the cake and you'd share it with me. I'm smart. I would take a big piece of the cake yes. and I would run away and I would hide it somewhere where I know you can't get it because I've seen you eat. There yeah. you go, I'm the winner. <laughs> Ta -da! Oh no, come on, Mike. Yeah, you've got to shake your head. <laughs> You're the winner. <laughs> Let, tell me more about them. why they're taking, why they're rolling this ball, ball. So really what they're doing is they're avoiding competition. So that's okay. the competition for this. What it is actually a limited resource because if you think about it, dung is patchy. Where's the next pile? Okay, we put this down, but the you know, the next pile could, could be, be 10 kilometers away. away. Yeah. So you've got to find the stuff first. And then the next thing is um, it doesn't last very long. It's ephemeral. It dries out. Yes. If you're not there in the first two days, it's, it's, you can't it's use useless. It. Yeah. So as soon as you find it, you've got to get your slice of the cake away from all the competitors. And you've got to get it into a nice, safe place where there again, that's that little dance. Isn't that a beautiful dance? Um, you get it away from the competitors, you get it down into the soil. And this is the whole thing where we get back to the rain. The soil is now soft enough that these guys can dig in and they can bury their balls down into the ground. So the rain, rain plays an integral part of this again. Oh, massive. You know, they, these guys won't be active until it rains. And what we need is at least 30 millimeters of rain um, that will soak, penetrate into the ground. It'll have stimulated these guys to emerge. And Look. now they're they're basically starting to feed before they start to breed. What's he doing now? Okay, this one's decided it wants to bury the ball. And th this, this is lovely because you can see how the head is used as a shovel. So I can see that there on this one here. Yeah. You can see that sort of a yeah. cutting edge. So Look at that. Yeah, so it's actually like the rising sun in many ways, that, uh, that, amazing. that head. Amazing, amazing. Look at that. Yeah, so... He's worried about the competition now. <laughs> so we're <laughs> disturbed in, yeah. like in any, yeah. any world. Yeah. Marcus, thanks, man. I can see these wonderful, these dung beetles seem to be racing with each other, but when we come back, we'll see how far they've managed to dig in their little balls. 
absolutely amazing.